Hi guys, today I'm in the office of one Turkish developer. They opened their uh, branch, their office in uh, Dubai, next to me, Ruby. Uh, we know each other for a long time, we used to work together for some time. And uh, now she invited me to give a presentation about uh, investment opportunities in Turkey. They have a residential projects and also based on the property investment, you can get the citizenship. So for some people, it can be interesting to get the citizenship. Hi, Ruby. Hello, Vitaly. Thank you so much for coming. Um, so I wanted to speak about our company at first. Yeah, I think firstly, give us some brief information about the. I, I believe it's a group of companies and yes. the real estate is just one of the directions. Correct. Correct. So tell us briefly about the history and then we can talk about specific, more specific about the projects and the, uh, what sure. is available. Sure. So the group is called Saya Group. It's one of the top companies in Turkey. They are uh, located in Izmir. Izmir is not that well known really when you say Turkey. People yeah. just think of Istanbul, oh, Ankara. Uh, yeah. But Izmir is the third largest city in Turkey and it's the uh, fastest developing city in Turkey right now. So I'll go back. Uh, the company is called Saya. Saya Group uh, has been established in uh, like in the 1950s. It's a family uh, group of companies. So they have the uh, folk art, which is our office here. It's the construction and development company under the Saya Group. They also have a mining company, which is the Livamni. They have the uh, Volt Motors, Volt Electric and then the farm active which is the pharmaceutical drug company so it's a huge uh, company in turkey very well known and trusted company in so turkey gr group of companies yeah, yes groups. yes yes um, okay so uh, as i mentioned um, folk art is the development construction company under the saya group and uh, they have now expanded here in uh, Dubai. They will also open an office very soon in Berlin. And also, as you see, uh, they've opened an office in Cologne. Germany, no? Yes. So that's the farm active. That is the pharmaceutical company, mm -hmm. as you see. OK, perfect. That's very interesting. And uh, now I think let's uh, Tell us more about the real estate opportunities sure. for people. And uh, I've heard also not only from you, from other people, that uh, uh, Turkey is developing uh, very fast, and especially as you mentioned, yes. Izmir. And uh, there is the people, the investors can get a very good capital appreciation, like people yes. buying a property under construction, and when it's completed in uh, two years, two three years, they sell it like almost double. That's what I heard. Yes. Uh, tell us, is it true or not? And uh, it is. It is very <laughs> true. So. Our, our company, Folk Art, is the leading uh, development company in Turkey. In terms of revenue since 2019, it has already delivered 10,000 units since uh, it started in 2006. And uh, we have given our investors 90% return of their investment in a span of three years. Some even get it in 18 months. So this is during the time that they bought on the construction period, they get their investment back. This is when they resell their resell. property. Very interesting. Okay. But you, you don't have any guarantee, but in general, the situation on the market is so good yes. that prices is going up. And uh, especially with the reputable developers, when yes. you buy, you can, uh, yes. you can resell it to end users probably uh, later yes. before the handover. Yes. Um, also, this is best to, as we have a new project in uh, Izmir, um, this is best to club with the Turkish citizenship for those who are looking for the second passport. Again, maybe it's not for everyone will be interested in the Turkish citizenship, but for people who are looking for that, yeah, it's a good uh, of course, just for investment. Yes, just for investment. As I, uh, I've mentioned previously, we uh, the the target market. I mean, the most of the buyers are the locals. The one who lives in Turkey. Ninety-nine percent. Ninety-nine percent of the buyers are locals. Some prefer to invest, like not in Istanbul, in Izmir, 
which most of our projects are located because this is the fastest growing So you're not building in Istanbul, Ankara, you're not building, you're building We have Istanbul. already built in Istanbul. We have launched a project called Nefes. It's uh, composed of villas yeah. from four to six bedroom villas. And uh, they just launched it in November and it's already 75% sold. Wow. We only have remaining 25% uh, left. So that's how fast it is because the brand is uh, very much trusted by uh, the market okay. in Turkey. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. So tell us maybe more about uh, the, the project. projects available. Okay. Yeah. What do you have and uh, uh, what are the prices? What are the terms and conditions? And uh, sure. What uh, is the process that they someone? So, but uh, who about you said like very few percentage international buyers, but still from this. A uh, few international buyers from where are people who are buying who are investing? Um, we would like to reach out to clients. We have uh, a lot of inquiries already from Pakistanis, Iranians. Mostly because of the citizenship, I believe. Mostly yeah. because of the citizenship, but also for investment, we have locals like Emirati, Emiratis. Yeah. We have uh, they they want to invest in Turkey and also to live in Turkey. So. Uh, our Nefes project is very much uh, a good, uh, what do you call this, like a holiday home. If you want a holiday home in mm. Istanbul, it's like 30 minutes away from the city center. It's very nice. Okay, and what about rental? So if you give apartments for uh, long term, short term, how is it in terms of that in Izmir? In Izmir, um, if you want just a return on the yield rental yeah, yeah. Yield. if you want to buy and in the future not to resell it but to put yeah it you rent. want to keep the property and you want to have an income from the rental yeah. we have a sub company it's called for rent so you can give to them for management yes, and yes, uh, they yes. take yes. revenue from a to z we can do you don't have to go to turkey okay, you sit good. here you and buy you a get, property get money we account. take care of everything like from a to z uh, property management they will rent it out for you uh, maintenance of your property as well everything so right. as I said they will do everything yeah sounds, sounds good, <laughs> yeah, sounds that's good. That's nice. okay tell us about what you have um, okay so f we have like 23 projects in total that are running 16 out of them are already completed and the mm -hmm. rest are under construction so these are our completed projects okay okay so folk our towers this is our head office this is the tallest twin tower in turkey so, so the tallest towers in izmir in turkey in twin turkey. tower wow the twin tower in turkey okay. this is the tallest one okay. so this is where our head office is okay yeah so it was just constructed for 2.5 years only okay. twin towers wow. so 45 floors each this is already sold out <laughs> yeah Okay. Yeah, so this is the um, completed one. Completed project, okay. Okay. And also, like, you build in different segments, like more affordable, and medium, and luxury, or only luxury segment you build? Most of it are luxury. Luxury, yeah. okay. okay. So this is the Folk Art Vega. Um, it will be delivered next month. Um, this is also ultra luxurious. Uh, looks good, looks very modern. Yes, very much. Vega, folk art Vega. Yes. And also the, the location of this project is right next to the coast. Near the water. Yes, so as you see 720 meters away. 896 units it's been uh, sold out already but for for resale like for example okay so people who bought with you let's say two years ago now is the resale how much yes. percentage they making what's the premium we'll have to check on that but as i've said the project here is like minimum 80 percent return so let's say people who bought it like for let's say i don't know one million they yeah. can sell it like 1.8 1.8 yeah it's very good so this is like how it uh, looks from the aerial view and the social facilities as you can see yeah, it's uh, there's outdoor and indoor pool for this 
the villas. Yeah, this is in Urla, this is in Izmir. Uh, this is already sold out as well. Beautiful. So, what was the selling price for such kind of villa? The starting price, uh, let me check if I have it. Roughly, approximately, to have an idea. Four million? Or million. three million when it was in, in, the, in, the in, in their hands. Okay, yeah. like less than a million dollars. Yeah. Okay. If briefly, if you can, uh, so what about the uh, the price per square foot? Let's say uh, to compare to Dubai, yeah, like maybe in dirham per square foot or in dollar per square meter, whatever. Like to have. Let me just check on my. I hand. believe, of course, it depends on the project, depends yes. on the yes. location, but still, to have an idea, what are the what are the price per square foot? Let's say if you compare it to Dubai, let's do the calculation. Yeah. Totally. So, for example, let's see here. You have. Uh, Ah, it's in uh, Turkish lira. Yeah, yeah, because Turkish we only sell in Turkish lira. Okay, let's uh, let's say for bedroom villa. Okay, let's say for the villa. Yeah, okay. fifteen point uh, two million lira, uh, two dirham, two dollars. Let's say two. Or let's say put two dirhams. Fifteen point two million Turkish liras into uh -huh. dirhams. In dirhams, it would be four million. Four million, yeah. about one thousand dirham per square foot. Yeah. Yes. So we compare. Okay. Yeah. Compare the similar prices to Dubai. We can say. Yeah. So if in Dubai you have villa townhouses, yeah. more or less in this range. But the quality here is. One thousand per square foot. Beautiful. Incomparable. Beautiful. So uh, basically, like the price range, more or less similar to the Dubai level. Yeah. yeah? Okay. But quality wise, Attention much to much details. much better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so this is the one in Istanbul, 96, okay. but uh, only 20 is left because 75% is already sold out. Okay. So around, we're talking about this kind of villa, around 1 million euro. Yes, 1, 1 million dollars. 1 million dollars, 1 million, yeah. million euro. 96 euros, okay. okay. So, Nefes, we have four uh, bedrooms. Uh, four and five, yeah? Four, five, and then six bedrooms. G plus one. There is a G plus one, there is also a simplex villa. Okay. So all the five bedrooms are only simplex. Four bed you have simplex and duplex. And the six beds are all duplexes. Okay. So that's it. The starting okay. price for that is one million. It will be delivered in 2023 July. Okay, one million dollars, 2021. Yes. Okay. And uh, now, okay. This is done, this is done. This is the folk art nova. This is the one that the we latest have. one. Yeah, yeah, we can guys we can show you the model yes. later. We have here and there. So that that is the one we have. Uh, one hundred seventy six units in total, with fourteen uh, commercial units in the ground. Commercial, you sell or you lease? Uh, we sell as well. Sell, okay. Yeah. So it will be uh, delivered in twenty twenty four. Yeah. When did you, you launch last year? You launched the project last no, year? No, we we're just uh, launching now. Okay. Yeah. We're, so we're launching now. The starting price for this is around $190,000 for the okay. one bedroom. So we're talking around 700,000 dirhams. Yes. But in this case, if you want to be eligible for the residency for passport, you need $250,000 yes. plus. Yes. Right? So for the passport, you need to purchase a minimum $250,000. So because let's say this in this project, if you just buy for investment, you can buy, let's say, it's a, you're talking about one bedroom unit for, yes, okay, one bedroom, around 700,000 dirhams, one bedroom. If you want uh, to be eligible for the citizenship, for passport, uh, it should be one million dirhams plus. You have units uh, higher price, obviously. Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay, and uh, uh, you, what's the process? Uh, to get the citizenship so project property should be completed project or it should be no, it, what it, is it, it how it works how even it works? if it's uh, an off-plan project should you pay all of the amount on you the just after have to pay the 250k in okay. order to get your passport okay but we have a payment plan you have to pay to developer right yes. and uh, it has to be on um, a bank account okay so we will do the process for you you can give a power of attorney for us it will be attested from the turkish embassy here then our team in Turkey will do all the administrative uh, process for you. You will have to open a bank account. Then the money should be there in the bank account. And then developer will give you like uh, a receipt that you have paid this much oh, amount. Okay. And you go to the government. Yeah, uh, you will go to the government office. They will see that, okay, they have paid the $250,000. 
then okay. you can give your passport. So uh, you have the payment plan. So if you want there to be eligible for residency, so you either you pay upfront to fifty or you yes. follow the payment plan. Once you pay two hundred fifty thousand dollars, you can apply for this uh, exactly. citizenship. Exactly. And then how fast you can get the passport? Um, we we are uh, in the market. They, you will see up to six months. Mm -hmm. But as we are, uh, we have an in-house uh, legal team for this. We can deliver it in ninety days. Ninety days. Yes. Okay, and what's the payment plan here you're offering on this project? Um, the payment plan for this project is 20% down payment and then the remaining 80% will be spread in two years. Until the completion? Yes. And the uh, registration fees? What's that? Registration fees, um, it's just... Uh, what are the other expenses buying property? Like in Dubai we have 4% DOD yes, and... The, the, the tax for uh, this apartment is only 1%. Tell us about taxes by the way. So only 1% it's when you buy the property, yes. you pay 1% to government. Yes. 1%, what else except that? It's just administration fees, which is very, very less. Okay. It's just like uh, 3,000, 4,000 liras. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so which basically only 1%. In Dubai, you pay 4% registration fee, yeah. that is only 1%. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 20% uh, down payment, and then uh, you can you have the payment plan until handover. Yes. And uh, let's say if the buyer here in uh, Dubai, so he can come to your office and make the payment, card, yes. cash, check, or how it works. Yes. You accept the RAMs here in Dubai? Yes, we accept the RAMs, we accept uh, dollars, euros. Even cash, you accept cash, or it should be check or bank transfer? It's best to accept it in uh, check. Okay. But if uh, cash, no worries, you can. All right, all right. And find especially ways. if it's twenty percent, it's not a big amount. Yeah, yeah, it's not that big amount. Okay, okay, that sounds good. And uh, what's your predictions once it's completed? How much it will cost? Let's say if you buy in one bedroom, what's the size for one bedroom? It would be around five hundred forty square, square feet. feet. So it's a smaller unit, one yeah, bedroom. Yeah, yeah. So the price per square foot, we're talking about, let's say, if it's seven hundred thousand, five hundred forty. So we're talking around one thousand three hundred per square mm, foot. Yeah. yeah. And is it is like in a downtown in the center of yes, the city? Yes, it's the city center. Okay, so it's, it's a prime, a prime, prime property. Yeah, very prime. Okay, very so again, prime. In, in this case, if you compare to Dubai, one thousand three hundred dirham per square foot, this is not the not the best property in Dubai you get for this amount. If you're talking about downtown and good properties, it around two thousand dirham per square foot, one thousand six hundred, one thousand seven hundred. The new projects, new launches. So here you get for one thousand three hundred dirham per square foot, you get the prime property in the yeah. center of the city. Okay, and the expectation that like by no, handover? We, we always deliver on time. If okay. not uh, before the date, we always deliver okay. on time. Okay, handover on time. And uh, let's say if you buy in for $200,000, what uh, the price you expect on the time of handover? I believe it depends also on the si market situation, yes, right? So, it but depends on the market So far, situation. there is a stable it's, growth. It's always uh, increasing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Sounds good. Very interesting. Uh, all right, uh, I think basically we covered most of the details about the company, about the developer, about the projects. So this is your project that you focus at the moment? Yes, and the villas in uh, Istanbul. And the villas, the one you showed us before, yes. yeah? Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Ruby, thank you very much for your presentation. No, thank you. Um, if you need further information, you can contact yeah. me. I can share marketing materials to you. Yes. And if any, anything sure. you need. Like Super. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. For more details, you can always contact me. My contact details below. Uh, office of Falkert is located in City Walk, uh, near to Coca-Cola Arena. We can uh, meet here with Ruby. She will give us presentation. We have the model of the building. And uh, uh, why I decided to make this video? Because uh, I receive uh, a lot of inquiries. Not a lot, but there is some inquiries for the international properties in other countries. Mm -hmm. And especially here is an option also for the citizenship and for countries like uh, uh, most, most of the Asian countries, uh, Turkish uh, citizenship is a, it's a good option. Yeah? So it gives you how many countries uh, travel free and what, what, are the benefits? what are the benefits of a Turkish passport? Okay, for the benefits, if you buy one bedroom, 250k minimum, suppose, your wife, your kids below 18, they will all get this passport. Okay, 110 okay. countries, visa-free travel, education, healthcare, so all of these benefits yes. you get. Okay, yes. perfect, perfect. Yeah. All right, thank you very much again, and see you in the next video. See you. Okay. <laughs> perfect. Is that good? <laughs>